Okay, so hello everyone. I'm Rafael from Nobux Project. And today we're gonna have another challenge about functions. And uh, let's see if you can get it right. So I'm gonna share my screen with you. Can you see my screen? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So um, this challenge, uh, the aim of this challenge is to um, make developers understand how uh, the function interface works um, in a straightforward way. So um, in Java 8, a lot of new paradigms uh, went, uh, went just uh, appeared in, in the language. And um, so let's see, I'm gonna give you a brief of this challenge and then I'm gonna ask you what's the answer. So we have a string here and then we have a function um, with uh, logic here. And then we create a, a string of Star Wars and then we apply the function here and then we sort and then we print all the elements. So I'm gonna give you some time and then you come up with the answer. Okay, so that's the answer and let's check if uh, you guys are right or wrong. Let's see the output. Oh, damn. All right. I got right for a change. Okay, so yeah, I'm so smart. Yeah, you got it right. Damn. <laughs> uh, yeah, this was, uh, I'm, I'm frustrated because this was very, really, really easy. <laughs> oh, uh, right. hey, so actually the, the, the goal of this one is to um, make Java developers that are used to work with uh, older versions to understand easier the, the new uh, features from Java 8. So that's why <laughs> I created this function. So um, I'm gonna explain you um, in a more detailed way so um, can make it more clear. So uh, basically it's, um, we are using the compile method and um, we are separating all strings by uh, space. And then we are splitting them as a string. So we get all the strings in a stream. So yeah, we can see here, T is the type and R is the return, the result. Um, and then we, we go here, we go um, to a string of Star Wars, and then we apply the function that we are basically dividing it into a list of string. And then here was the trick. Uh, Ronaldo realized the trick. <laughs> uh, so yeah, basically just inverted here. So um, we, um, instead of putting O1 and O2. So if we, if we put that, uh, Rodrigo uh, and Pedro would be right. So yeah, it's, it's a very small detail. So yeah, the, the thing that I thought it's, you sorted once on the reverse order and then the for each order would be uh, sorting on the, the natural one. That's why I thought would be the trick because you're always tricking us. So I, exactly. oh man, I got that's you. Why, that's but, why Ronaldo yeah. got it right because he didn't see he didn't see the the others. How tricky! Are no, the I, I, I saw I saw the the order, but I I think well I think that for each order doesn't sort things. It just you know execute the function on the order that you received, right? Yeah. It's not sorting things again. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. not. I, 
it specifically. So uh, it's, order, that's what it's about. It's passing uh, O dot compared to it. I think it used the lexical comparison from the string object. Yeah, exactly. exactly. That's it. So there is the, it's a normal comparison. It's uh, just a lexical comparison and then it will just put in the opposite order. Um, and then uh, after we sort, we just uh, print all of the elements in a, yeah, for each odd ordered. Yeah, so I, I got you actually, uh, Rodrigo. It's because of this for each order. <laughs> yeah, just because of this, because I, I totally agree with the reverse on the, the on the, the line above. But then after seeing this for each order that uh, I, I never used before, I saw, man, maybe there is a tricky one from Java that I, I didn't know yet. Okay, let's try out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a question. mission failed. It's actually, I, I was wrong. It's not so easy because of this method. <laughs> Is there a for each sorted instead of ordered? Is, is, is there a for each sorted? No. OK, because th that would do what Rodrigo thought it would. Yeah, I just got caught by the name. Hmm. Encounter mm -hmm. order. I bought the same tricky. <laughs> yeah, because in, in Java, everything that's ordered, it's not a, a class, you know, it's not a sort, it's not a natural order. It's just an order of things, you know, the order you receive them. It's like a, an array list. It's ordered, but it's not exactly. sorted. But... Exactly. So as we are using here, uh, yeah, as we sorted here, I mean, it it has already an order, so it would just keep it. I can create another one about that. <laughs> it would be a good one. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, so that's it. Do you do you guys have any questions? For me, it's all good, man. Congrats for the another one that got me but everyone every time that I, I get it wrong i learn with it so thanks again yeah thank you and i always learn with my own challenge as well <laughs> yeah pretty cool thank you okay thank you guys so i'm gonna just stop sharing my screen okay so that was the challenge of today and uh if you like the challenge you just give a like to the video and then yeah improve your job skills always keep on improving because that's the way to get your code uh flexible and powerful so see you next week <laughs>